Hey guys, Jason from Ice Outdoors. And today we're going to talk about release aids. I'm often asked by my customers about when it's time to upgrade releases and what kind they should get. Now, I'm going to talk about three different types today and not talk about our good friend the wrist rocket there. That's the release that most people started with. We're going to move beyond that into handheld releases specifically. I've got three different kinds of releases here. I've got a resistance activated, this Carter Evolution. I've got my tried and true Carter Just Because thumb release. And I've got this B3 Tangent hinge style release here. And I use all three at different times and I'm going to go through why today. All the people that I teach at Archery to who want to make a release change, this is definitely my best recommendation. I've seen the worst cases of target panic be cured by switching to a release style like this. It takes some work to get used to, and there's definitely going to be a bit of a learning curve when you get going, but once you get to it, it'll give you the most explosive, dynamic, crispest feeling shots out there. If you're looking for a release upgrade and you want to get your shooting to the next level, I would suggest starting with a resistance activated release like this. Now a hinge style release gives you this similar kind of shot sequence to a resistance activated, but I find that it's a little smoother, a little more controlled, right? It's not as pulley, it's a little more gradual as you go back and you can kind of set the speed and tension of how that shot's going off with a little half moon in there. Probably one of my favorite releases for just pure target shooting is a hinge style release. The last one we're gonna talk about is a thumb barrel. This is a Carter Just Because, and I've been using this style of release for probably 10 years. Not this exact, release but this exact model. It's releases are something that that I don't change very often. Once I find something that's comfortable and I like to use, I like to set up my bow that way because that's the back end, the end of the shot, and I want it to be consistent and comfortable and familiar. Now a thumb barrel release is activated by building pressure on this little thumb barrel here. And when you build enough pressure, you get the release that breaks. Thumb barrels can be punched similar to a, a wrist rocket style release but you can shoot them with as much control and consistency as the hinge or the evolution. I do prefer this as my hunting release because I like to have that little bit of extra control when I'm at a tree. So which one should you choose? That's really a personal preference thing. I think when it comes to practice and training to shoot and trying to become better at shooting, I prefer a resistance or a hinge style release like this. Now people do hunt with these and very successfully, but I've never been a big fan of it for that, but that's why it's all personal. If you want a release that you can build a good shot technique with and still have some more control of in a hunting situation, I think a barrel is your best bet. I know it is for me, and that's what I've been using for the last few years. So if you're looking for a new release or just want to give one a try, come down and see us at the shop here, or you can shop online at heightsoutdoors.com. If you have any more questions, feel free to send me a message or an email at jason at heightsoutdoors.com.